Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to give you a little tour of the room that my mother is in. She's in the living room of this apartment and I never got around to doing a whole apartment tour. I've done some parts of it and it dawned on me that no one, not even family, has seen you know where my mother is living since we moved to Mississippi. We've been in this apartment for four months. Before that we spent uh, about a month with Derek. So I just want you to see her nice room and her setup, and it really worked out great for us. You will see her in her bed. I have no problem with you seeing her. It's not disrespectful. I know some people will think it is. I have talked to her before about how I wanted to do a little room tour, and she was okay with it. She just wanted it to be a day that she had her makeup on, which is almost every day. She had her makeup on even just a couple of days ago. She just, that is something that she always wants done. But now she's just in her bed, and she's sleeping. If she were to stir or, you know, make sounds or whatever, I will cut that out. Um, and I have the blinds shut. Now, when she was in her chair and coloring and stuff, those blinds were always wide open, not just twisted open, but completely pushed to the side. When she was in her bed, I had to keep them shut and, you know, mostly shut because she couldn't see the TV good. The glare would bother her. She has some white film, like, on the clear of her eyes, and so that makes it, um, you know, hard to see things. She's been in her bed at the time of this video for, um, let me think, I think 10 days. I couldn't get her back in her chair when she was getting up off the potty and I had to call rescue so they could help me put her in bed and she's been in there ever since. And today she's not awake at all. So I thought it would be a good time to just show you guys where she is and, um, you know, and then after I can show you my nook and cranny where I sleep. I'm not doing that today. I just want to show her room. And uh, you will see some flowers there that came from my brother for her birthday. And, you know, I just really appreciate that we had such a nice setup. I knew I was going to give her the living room before we even moved here. Uh, I need the two back rooms for my business. And, um... My little nook and cranny that you'll see down the road, I think I might just keep that as my bedroom. I kind of like it. It's the little dining room area. But we'll see. We'll see when the time comes to do any rearranging. But for now, let's just go show you my mother's room. I also wanted to remind you that Derek, my son, is the one that's going to be doing updates on her condition because it's just not something I feel like recording and editing, and it's just my my way of getting through this. I am so happy I have him to do those updates to keep you guys informed, because I absolutely want my audience to know what's going on. I just don't feel like doing all that talking about that. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, his channel link is in the description of this video, so you can go subscribe and... You know, you'll learn everything as time goes on. You'll learn what's happening by watching his videos. And I do promote his videos on my social media. So even if you don't subscribe to him, you know, you'll, you'll know what's going on. So I just want to show you that this is the living room as we walk in. That's a little uh, sofa that I brought from Maine. That's the wheelchair from hospice. That's where we park it. And I have a little plastic thingy with, you know, drawers again from Maine and I have some crochet stuff in there and that's where I keep her markers for her coloring that she will not be doing anymore and it holds my remotes so that's pretty cool and then we have this little entryway and that's where we park her her walker okay I had to make a weird cut right there because she made some sounds so I don't really know where I left off but I was showing you that we had this little area here and that's her wheelchair and her walker is parked there and we have a nice closet where I was able to keep all her supplies like her incontinence supplies and whatever the hospice care needed and I'm going to be keeping that walker because I have a bad knee and I like to walk every day and if I ever get to the point that I feel like I'm you know not safe walking 
I want to keep walking. So every now and then, who knows, I might use the walker. Not something to get used to and to do all the time, but I'd rather walk with help than not walk at all. So that will come in handy. All right, so then let's go this way now and turn, and you will see my mom. That is her lift chair and uh, her potty. So that's how we had it set up. So I would get her um, out of bed when she was in her bed. She, for a long time, just slept in that chair. Um, you know, I would just pull the potty out. We would go from bed to potty and then potty to chair. It just worked out really great. She has her little table there. I usually have some stuff on there, but I just took that down for the um, the video. And I can see that it looks like the bottom of that is white, the foot part. I just unwrapped that. We had uh, some of those uh, pads taped on there just because it was, you know, rough for her legs, she said. So then this is that little area. So that's how close we are with all that. Okay, once again, an odd edit that I had to do. So I just wanted to let you know that that's her nice big sliding glass door. And again, I have the slats like that. She's making a little bit of sounds. And, um, but I am going to open that so you can see the nice view she has. When I opened that, she actually was able to tell me that it was too bright, so I told her that I would uh, be shutting it. And there's my little car, my little red car, still with my main plates, even though it's registered. I never got around to putting the plates on. And um, this is her setup, but let me go shut the blinds. I also wanted to show you, that's her little table that she colored pictures on for weeks at a time. I'm going to actually put the stack of pictures there so you can see them. It's hard to tell, but there are quite a few. I would just print them online. Um, I am pretty sure that's the very last one she colored, and she loved it so much. She said, I put those squiggly lines on there. She says, I think it's so pretty. She was adding borders around, and, um, you know, she just did that all day, every day. And then there was a point where, you know, I had to limit her because she was just, like, you know, doing it too much, and she was in pain, her arm hurt, things like that. So this is really where she spent all her time, in that chair, coloring, and then laying back, watching TV. And now I'll show you the TV area. And this is what we have. And I could turn that TV to face her when she was in her chair. And uh, in bed, you know, I just put it straight. But she hasn't been watching TV. I think she did watch some yesterday. Today is, uh, you know, just a little bit more downhill. She's just not alert at all today. So this is the dresser set that I brought for Maine that I wanted so bad. There's another piece like that one, and that's next to my bed. You'll see that later. It worked out so good for us. Oh, and her clock that, I'm sad. It took me forever to put that up there. She, okay, I had to edit some noise out. She can hear me talking a little bit, so it's just making her a little agitated. So I'll be wrapping this up. But anyway, she wanted her clock, and, you know, I just never got around to it. I have it up there now. It's been up there for a little while, so she was able to enjoy it. And then she has one of her statues. Uh, that's not a statue, a wall thingy of Mary and Jesus that she wanted that I brought from Maine. She told me the things that she wanted, and she wanted all her little knick-knacky things that she had in Maine. I'll show you up close. Those flowers are from my brother. So she has some different little cats and little little thingies. And uh, on this side, she has these things. And, you know, I'm glad she had some stuff that reminded her of home. The other thing that she has uh, here, but it's not out, is a very old pink bowl. She absolutely wanted to make sure that I brought that. It was her grandmother's bowl, and that is in a cabinet. So we had all these drawers for her clothes, and again for incontinent stuff, and you know, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. So I guess that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Um, you know, obviously this is all hospice stuff. The bed, the potty, the table, uh, this white table is, is hers, and, you know, the wheelchair, and again, the walker is hers, and there's other stuff, like she does have oxygen, 
Uh, her oxygen was good today. The nurse was in. I don't know if you can see it in the corner. So we do have that. Once again, this is her space. I absolutely made the right decision by moving and by taking her with me.